Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss how to create the implementation project. So let's start with, first of all, I need to log in into the Oracle application cloud. Go to user. So prior to create a implementation project, you need to enable the offerings. So go to setup and maintenance. Go to actions and then go to offerings. So here we have the list of the offerings, whatever the module that you need to implement. So first of all, you need to enable the offerings for that particular module. Suppose I need to enable the offerings for financials. So select the financial and go to opt in future. So here we have the list of the all the options that you need to enable for the financial modules like so uh, like GL and the uh, payables like supply invoice and processing nothing this is the payables supply invoices payables payments and the cash management and banking nothing cash management only right so expenses this is the fusion expenses uh, like in EBS we had uh, I expenses. So fix assets. So there's a list of the, all the modules of financials that you need to enable the offerings. And Oracle Fusion, uh, Cloud Fusion is just providing these all the options. So what we need to do, first of all, we need to uh, enable all these options. And then one uh, that as per the requirement of your project of implementation project. So you need to enable all those options and then click on done. So similarly, you can uh, enable all the offerings for any other uh, module or uh, offerings like customer data management. So what I need to do, I need to again, click on the opt-in feature and uh, whatever the uh, offerings or Oracle is providing, what uh, as per your need, you need to enable all those offerings here, like, so, so this is all, this is the first step that we need to perform prior to create our implementation project. Now, the next step would be the creation of the implementation project. So where we need to go, we need to click on this task icon on the right and on the top, manage implementation projects. So click on that. So click on plus sign. That means this is a create. So here we have the predefined already defaulted options. So we, what we need to do, we need, we need to just enter the name of the project, implementation project, like so after clicking of tab, it would be just defaulted as code. And uh, it will be automatically assigned to the user that already been, uh, you have logged in like FAS01. So that's why it's showing the assign to the, this particular user. So as per your need, you can assign to any other user as well, right? And you need to put the dates, enter over here. Suppose I need uh, a project to start it on this date or need to start on this date. Give the start date and then click on next. So this is all basic details that you need to enter at the time of creation of the implementation projects. So next step would be, uh, what are the uh, options, right? That 
you need to include in your implementation project, right? So suppose I, I'm just implementing a financial module. So I, I need to undertake on this uh, offering, which is our financials and enable all those uh, features or options. So these all are the options, right? Supply, invoice, processing and all. So I need to enable all these stuffs. First of all, I need to enable the financials. After that, I can enable all the uh, hierarchy underneath the financial offerings, right? So these all are the options that I'm going to, I'm enabling here. So suppose revenue management, I need to enter invoice, customer invoice processing and all collection. This is nothing, this is an advanced collection like an EBS intercompany. So whatever you need to uh, implement. So you need to uh, enable all those options. So these are called options under the financial offering. After enabling this, you need to just save and close, save and open the project. So system will open the project on the next page. It would hit them sometimes. So, so after the uh, enabling all the options within the offering, financial offering, uh, so it's been completed now. So you can review all the tasks, right, under this uh, financial offering. So this is a list of the tasks that you need to perform to implement your project that we have defined like EMS, uh, VMS implementation project we have defined under that we have just selected the financial as an offering. So, and then under that we have selected the options, right? These all are called the options and now system is uh, just showing the list of the tasks that you need to perform. Like if I need to define one, legal entity. So what I need to do, I can search over here on um, this task field that I need to perform to start the implementation, right? So what are 90% uh, tasks start with the manage, the prefix manage, right? So manage, suppose I need to configure legal entity. So I need to search manage legal entity. So system will uh, bring us to the next page, which is the multiple options over here. So what we need to select, we need to select the uh, financial model. There are different paths, but uh, this is the same page for the managed legal entity. We can, system will switch us to uh, next page, which is the list of the tasks, the desired task that we have selected over here in the task field. So manage legal entity, first of all, we need to select the uh, the primary ledger, and then we can define the legal entity. So how, this is how we can uh, uh, enable the offerings and then we can uh, create our project. And under that project, whatever we, we are going to implement, we need to select the option under that project, right? At to particular, uh, for the particular offering. Like in for financial is offering and under that, if we are selecting the payables and then uh, receivables, and then uh, assets, cash management, all these are the options that you, you uh, your requirement to implement for your client. So this is how we can uh, uh, just define the, uh, the of where we can select the offerings and the options under the project creation for the Oracle Cloud. You to click on done. So, Thanks for watching, my friends. Please 